It's been full steam ahead for this session for lawmakers trying to pass a paid family leave bill, but now Democrats are hitting the pause button. The question is whether you should have the right to take paid time off without the risk of losing your job. It seems like a simple answer, but as Denver 7's Jennifer Kovaleski shows us, it's a bit more complicated. This is when me and my daughters first moved into Warren Village transitional housing. For the single mother of two, photos on her fridge mark milestones. My youngest daughter's first time in in a child setting, seeing other children. But when Jasmine White thinks about her maternity leave and what it took to get here, she stresses out all over again. Put me in such a strain because I, it made me depressed. I couldn't provide for my daughter as I needed to. White worked two jobs until the day she delivered her second little girl. She had zero days of paid time off and went back to work as soon as she could six weeks later. During my maternity leave, I did not, I was behind on my rip for two months. White thinks Colorado should have paid family leave, so single moms like her aren't forced to make impossible decisions, pay the rent or take care of her kids. You want to bring this baby into this world and take care of it, and yet you, you restrict it. You are restricted in a way that compromises everything else. That's not a decision Coloradans should have to make. Democratic Senator Faith Winner and Senator Angela Williams agree, which is why they sponsored a bill to bring paid family leave and parental leave to Colorado. It's important because right now, one out of four moms are going back to work two weeks after giving birth. But the legislation is now on hold after mounting pressure. Instead, they are opting to study how to resolve differences and come back to work next session. We couldn't agree on the numbers. We couldn't agree on, on the model or, or what is best, but I don't think that's a bad thing. We asked for two steps. This is one step. We are going to bring paid family leave to Colorado. So what about the perspective from those against the idea? Tony Galliardi represents 7,000 Colorado businesses. Nobody's against paid family leave. That's not what we were arguing against. We were arguing against a one-size-fits-all mandate. On top of that, Galliardi believes the math didn't add up, since the bill assumed only 3% of those eligible would use the program. This is a billion-dollar program that's put on the backs of every taxpayer in Colorado. The legislation would have enacted an employee and employer payroll fee to cover workers' paid parental and family leave for up to 12 weeks. Under federal law, workers can take up to 12 weeks, unpaid, to have a baby or care for a sick loved one but it doesn't require employers to pay their workers during that time. And the mandate only applies to companies with more than 50 employees. Keeping our 360 going, Jim Noon is in the shipping supply business with only 12 employees. He saw this legislation as a terrible hardship on his small company. The 12 weeks of missing the employee was a bigger deal to me than the cost of the program. He says it would force him to staff more people on a permanent basis. In the scheme of the expense of an employee, it's really not that much. On the flip side is another small business owner. Catherine Canarberg runs Merlin Instrument, a local design and manufacturing company. And as a small business, I want to offer paid family leave, but it's really expensive. What she is able to offer is short-term disability. She says at a much higher cost, with far less benefits than the program lawmakers were proposing. It doesn't cover family leave. It gives fewer weeks off. It gives a less percentage of um, pay for my employees when they're on leave. And that was my 10-year-old when she was two. I'm taking this full circle. White says she's not giving up either and plans to keep fighting for her girl's future. We've been fighting for this bill over three years, you know, and the fight never stops. Small businesses usually take care of their people anyway, so I really don't think it's needed, period. Jennifer Kovaleski, Denver 7. We know there are a lot of opinions on this story in your city and community, and we're listening to you, Colorado. If you know someone who was impacted by these changes or if you are being impacted, email us at 360 at the Denver You can also send us a message on Facebook or Twitter.